Hello, I'm going to do the Taurus energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, Taurus. We have the Three of Wands. Three of Swords. Then we have the Death card, which is Scorpio. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're trying to make a decision on what works best for you. Trying to figure out the path that you want to follow. Where you want to go with things. I feel this Three of Swords is kind of this blockage here that it's affecting your choices and your decisions. Whatever this Three of Swords represents for you, it could be a recent breakup, it could be some heartbreak, some letdown, you know, whatever that is that you felt that your heart was stabbed or you were let go, or there's this distance, because that can also represent some distance. It could be physical distance or mental distance between you and someone else, uh, or something that you loved. I feel like you're, you know, you're just contemplating, you're thinking, you're trying to decide, you're trying to process but I feel that you're pretty smart in the fact that you're figuring out, okay, what's going to work best for me, that I have to make some changes that are, that are going to work for me, that are going to work out for me, that are going to make me feel good, that are going to, with this nine of pentacles, that's why I'm glad that this came through here. And I love this with the butterfly because I feel like that represents transformation because it's the ending of something, but I feel like this with the butterfly there, it's the beginning of something new, but I feel like you realize that, but you haven't quite gotten to the point where we're able to actually take actions. I kind of feel like you're kind of, you may be waiting for that opportunity to come in to show you which direction you need to go in, right? I, I, and sometimes I feel like that's, that's a good thing to do is because, you know, if you're, if you're kind of waiting and you're like, okay, I don't want to rush into anything, but I know this is this is what I want. I want this nine of pentacles, and I know I have to let go of things, and this is the ending of something, but I also don't want to rush things. So I kind of feel like that's the energy that you're in, and, and I like that. And when you're able to wait for the opportunities to come in, then, then you feel that it's the right time to make the next move, and then you're able to let go of things. Um releasing things we have the moon which is Pisces so we have Scorpio and then we have Pisces here um, finding clarity I just feel like you find some clarity we have Sagittarius here patient good things come to those who wait Queen of Swords listening to your intuition Page of Cups, new emotions and feelings. I almost feel like there may be some things. Um, I feel like two more. Finding balance. So we have the Two of Pentacles. And then good things are coming in for you. Definitely without, I feel like you're going to be surprised by something. Again, my brain is all over the place. It's quicker than my mouth. I feel that you're really smart. I feel like you really have a handle on this. I do feel that you're struggling. I do feel that you're feeling a little stuck, but I feel like you're really smart and you really know what's going on here. I feel like you're not ready to jump into something new, but you're trying to figure things out within yourself and that you want this nine of pentacles and you know that this is a path that you need to go on. And I almost feel like because you're waiting, I feel like this opportunity catches you by surprise. But it's, it's like... You know it's going to happen, but you're not sure when. And because you haven't rushed things, I feel like because you're ready to release, I do feel that you're ready to let go of this Three of Swords. But you're because you want the best for yourself. And you're listening to that intuition. You're feeling guided. Definitely. You're not clear. You're not 100% clear. And I feel like that's what that moon is. Is you're not clear what your next step is. So I feel like you're you're listening to that intuition. And, and you're seeing which way you're feeling guided. But I don't feel like this. 
for some reason, I feel like this Three of Swords energy is not something that is bogging you down. I feel like it's something that you're seeing that as a light for you to go in a new direction and to pursue other things. That you realize that it, it's a pivotal moment in your life where it's being redirected. So that's why you're not trying to rush into things and you're taking your time. Very interesting. All right, let's grab a um, numerology card. I feel like you're approaching this the right way. I feel I feel like you're handling things the right way. Like you're not consumed by this Three of Swords. We have follow your dreams. I love it. I feel like this goes to the High Priestess. It's like the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. Like I'm getting excited. <laughs> um. Maybe that's why this Three of Swords is not affecting you as much because I feel like you can get yourself back on track to follow your dreams. That maybe your dreams got sidetracked because of this situation here, but this situation didn't work out and now it's time for you to get back on track to follow your dreams, which is that Nine of Pentacles. I'm feeling like one more, we have health. Um, I feel like you're, you're feeling happy, you're feeling energized. I feel that you're looking out for yourself. I feel that you realize that this is opening up a door to amazing opportunities for you. Even though this door closed, I feel like you realize that door is opening. Which, that's why I said I feel like you're very smart about this situation and, and about what happened. That you're really not that worried. I mean, you're, there is some concern, but I feel like you're, you're like, okay, now I know this is a path that I need to go on. We have lovers. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Perfect. Um, I feel like it, it's this, like looking towards the future, trying to decide what it is that you want to do. There's two paths to yourself. There's two paths ahead and being true to yourself. And again, following your dreams and going after your nine of pentacles. And that's kind of <coughs> where you're at. But you have to make sure that you're true to yourself because I feel like I wouldn't want you to get back into this situation again. So being very aware. But like I said, I feel like you're very smart and you're you're very knowledgeable about this situation. And I feel like you know what you what you need to do and what you want to do, but I feel like maybe you're just looking for that confirmation, am I doing the right thing? We have effort conquering your demons. Conquering your demons, whatever this Three of Swords represents, conquering that, letting it go, and right next to the death card, letting that go and not letting that control you, but I feel like you're smart enough to realize that, but I just feel like you're just looking for that confirmation that am I doing the right thing? But you know inside, sometimes we just need someone like yesterday my mom called me about something and she wanted to talk to me about something and really when we talked it through it was basically just she wanted confirmation that what she was already thinking was the right choice to do and I feel like that's with you too it's like you already know what the right thing to do or what it is that you want to do but you're just looking for that confirmation and sometimes we just need that little boost. And, and I said to my mom, I said, you already knew what you wanted to do. I said, you were just looking for me to agree with that, <laughs> which I happen to agree to it. But um, I feel like that's the same with this reading here. We have Otter Spirit. You are never alone, which I love that he's kind of in that little heart there. And that, you know, you're, you are never alone, that there are people around you that care for you. Um, that love you, that want the best for you. Um, I also feel like that has to do with, really you're not alone because there's so much nature out there. There's so many animals out there and you know the spirits, I feel there's spirits and there's guides and messengers all around us too. So I feel like it's just knowing that you're not alone and that there is support around you. Some that you can see and some that you can't see and believing in that and following your dreams and like I said, I feel like you're very smart and that you know what you want and you know where you're going. 
and you're on the right path. Just keep following that inner voice. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.